D. And again, we have with us the lovely Mr. Victor Jones. And he was just telling us about being the CEO and the different roles he had with CSN Productions. And go ahead and tell me about that because love is... Actually, let me ask you something. You mm -hmm. talked about three films that you've done. Mm -hmm. Have you been in all of them? Yes, lead actor. Really? Every one of them. So you love yourself very much. You know what? I do. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. I mean, when, when you're shooting a film, um, you have to get... First and foremost, okay. the, 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 the very first thing that you have to know is that you can finish. Right. And as the lead actor, it guarantees I will not lose my lead actor because something else came okay. along. Okay. Okay. So, that makes sense. But I'm, I can, I'm also talented enough, thankfully, to carry a film. Thank so, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how hard is it to juggle the two? Or is it hard at all? It might come naturally for you, but for anybody else that's thinking about it, is um, it hard? It's, it can be. Okay. I won't lie. And, 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 and the thing is, people... I don't suggest anybody do what I do. Okay. But can it be done? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. But the thing is, you have to be willing to put in the time as the writer, as the actor, as the director, and then me, even as an editor, because I also edit my own films. Wow. Um, wow. And you have to have an eye for imperfection. Okay. And you can't say, this is junk. But it's great because if it's if it's junk, it's junk. Especially when it's you doing it, you're yeah. writing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am my worst critic. When I go and see me in film, I, it, it, I think every actor always looks at the film and says, well, "I could have done that differently, or done that better. Okay. Or I could have done it this way or that way." And but in the moment, speaking as an actor, mm -hmm. that is where the beautiful parts happen because we don't rehearse much when we shoot films mm. on purpose because. I want the movements and the actions and the reactions to be as genuine okay. as possible. Okay. Like I tell my actors, if I see you acting, then you're not working. Okay. Because when you see the person acting, people in the audience will never believe that you are who you say you are. Right. It's right. only when you immerse yourself into that character and you become that character that they forget they're right watching Victor and Zakia and this that and it, we become Walter and Nadia or, or whichever roles we're playing. So can someone do it? Yeah. But the thing is you have to always be willing to stand back and, and, and sometimes take punches at yourself. Right. Because, you know, it's not a perfect science and so that you know, that being the case, sometimes, you know, we may do stuff and it may not look right. It may not sound right, it may not play right. as well as you thought it would. Right. And so you gotta say, Oh, that's not working. <laughs> Let me ask you something. I mean, yeah. does it get kind of confusing when you're on set because you're the lead actor mm -hmm. and this is your film mm -hmm. and someone do something that you did not write that wasn't in the script? Do you sometimes catch yourself saying, wait, you're not supposed to do that? It depends okay. on who said it <laughs> and what you, they said okay, how <laughs> and, and, and how good it, yeah, and how good right, it was. Right. Because what two things in some films, I'll, I'll tell the actors, explore. Okay. You know, be brave, be bold in your character and in your choices and bring that, okay. right? Mm -hmm. In other films and or in other scenes, I need it line by line by line. Okay. Now, if something happens, depending on what it is or what was said and how it was said, if I'm in the scene, will I stop a scene? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Simply because another thing, most of the actors that work on, on my films, they don't get the whole script. Okay. They get their, their part, part. Okay. Okay. Right. right? They may not understand how ad-libbing this or changing this word or putting this word in right. affects the rest of the script okay. or the rest of the film. So, like I said, depending on who said it, where, how, you know, what, <laughs> yeah. Then it, and I, and I've done that before because we have to make sure that the the integrity of the film is maintained throughout. Okay. So. Now it's funny because a lot of times, you know, even if I forget all my lines, I know everybody else's lines, word by word. So they better know later. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so when you change a word, I know you changed right. it. Right. Without question, because you know, because you know, you know how you wrote it. Right. <laughs> you, know? you know how you want it to be portrayed. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So being an actor in the film, mm -hmm. and your mind is set on your part, how does that affect the film due to the fact that if somebody got to ask you a question or come at you because. Forgetting that you're the director, writer, but you're the actor, so now they're looking at you, okay, he's just my, you know. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, this is going to sound bad, okay. but it is what it is. We want to know. When we're shooting the film, Go ahead. the only people who have access to me directly are the director of photography, okay. the camera guy, and my assistant. 
And then sometimes other, some, some of the other sisters, but for the most part, they go to the main assistant first. Okay. okay. So nobody approaches me when I'm on the set. Okay. So that's how we keep that to a, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so no confusion. And, it, and I mean, it got to be because yes. you're playing all these different roles, so it yeah. got to be ground set. Well, the thing is, I may be over in the corner. And it looks like I'm not doing anything, but what I'm doing, I'm, I'm playing the scene in my head. Okay. And then somebody comes up and asks me a question, and you just interrupted mine. Right. And I'm like, no. and it, and hopefully I don't, you know, I don't say anything negatively or wrong or mean, okay. you know. Okay. So that's why we have the rule. We have questions, you go to Nikki. Nikki will bring it to me. Okay. If she needs to, but most times, she, you know, she she'll can, fix it. She can distinguish what yeah. needs to come to you and what doesn't. Yeah. 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 So okay. that's how we maintain the order. So, how do you find actors and your crew for the film? Uh, like I said, we've I've had the same crew, but primarily for all three films, and we like I said we've added somebody, you know, each film. So now the crew is a thing, a crew of seven. Where we started as three. Um, when we audition, two things. Since I wrote the film, when you walk in, I kind of know who you are. Okay. Number one, okay. if you if you if your natural self fits the character. So that's that's the first thing. Do you see any roles for the lovely ladies of the sports view right yeah, now? I was going to say, you know, you, we, we just want to ask you. I was going to say, let's take a break, <laughs> and then let's come back and do like an impromptu, you know, like because an improv we, we got it going, you know, like the rest of us. Okay, okay. Oh, well, this is a sports green. view. I'm Delcy <laughs> D. This is Jazz. We're going to be in one of the films coming up in 2011, or maybe we're going to talk about it off camera, but we'll let you know next year. Yeah. We'll be right back.